All right, so today is our last day of the first 20 days, and then we're going to start diving into some other mini lessons that we have planned for you. And we're actually going to be in conjunction with what they're doing over there. So what you're learning here will be exactly what they're learning over there. So today, our focus is on punctuation. You probably have seen the task list have been on grammar and uh, in particular commas. And so when we read, we find that there are lots of different forms of punctuation in books. And each, each one has its place. Each one tells us how to read the text in a certain way. So today we're going to be looking at what the author is trying to say using punctuation. So punctuation helps us to understand meaning in a clear way. Can you think of some punctuation marks that you use? We're going to start by making a list of them, and then we're going to compare our list to what I have on the next slide. So some of the ideas. OK, so Wesley, go ahead and start us off. Comma. Yeah, we've been learning about those, right? So. Commas. So that's one. Zoe, I saw your hand up. <laughs> Don't usually see that yeah. word very often. Oh, yeah. Can you You're right. Can you see what we're doing here? I'll look it up. But yeah. Okay, Amelia. Semicolon. Uh, yep. So we have the semicolon. Yeah, that is another one. Any other ones? Oh wow, tons of hands now. Brecken? Yeah, the all too popular. Period. Another one, Marcos? So we have quotation. What else, Micah? Question marks. Yeah, question marks. This is like the most popular. Everybody puts on their comments. <laughs> so far, we got quite a few. Any others? Okay, so forward slash backslash, right? One of those. So maybe that would be one. Marcos, you seem to have your hand up. Um, I don't know how to say it, but it's the it's the one where it's kind of like the C, but it goes like south. Yeah, like the half circle. Parentheses. Oh, parentheses. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have two. I have one. So. Tate? Um, I forgot what it was called, but it's it's like the parent parentheses, but it's like that. It's like a. Oh, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Now. Yeah, I've seen. I can't remember exactly what that one's called either. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'll just put it the symbol of it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Okay. Uh, Daniel. Oh, 
haven't seen that in books, though. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. London? Okay, yeah, multiple periods in a row. Okay. Questions? Uh, you don't usually, you might see those in more new books because of the way our language has changed, you know, when we've got now the hashtags and stuff like that. You're not going to see that probably in a lot of older books, but yeah, that could, that could show up in like maybe a new Diary of the Wimpy Kid book if they start bringing in social media into it, so you could see it there. But that's more of a fringe one, Zoe. Yep, the slash, and then carrot. I've seen that more in math. What's carrot? So. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think you'll see that too often in books. All right. So just one more, and then we gotta go. So Amelia. All right. Let's go on to the next slide, guys. We could. We're gonna keep going. We only have so much time. We only have so much time. So here's some of the ones that are here. So comma, apostrophe, exclamation mark, capitalization, quotation mark. Because remember, it's punctuation mark. So that's why capitalization is there. That's part of punctuation. Now period and question mark. And then of course we added some other ones, right? That were not on the list. Wait, what's an apostrophe? So let's look at. Yeah, there you go. So let's look at um, this sentence here. It's got multiple forms of punctuation. And we're going to read through it and notice some things about the punctuation. So Russell was sure his father was going to scold him. But instead, Mr. Michael said the bad word. It wasn't a real bad word. It was the one Russell had invented. Schmatz! Mr. Michaels called out loudly. Yes. So do you notice some punctuation? Can somebody point out what we're supposed to do with some of the punctuation when we get to it, when we're reading? Kate, what if are we? It wasn't a real bad word, and then it put a period, but you're actually supposed to put a comma. Okay. No one said to So yeah, you're talking about periods and commas, right? So when I get to a period, I got to pause, right? Because I've concluded an idea because each sentence holds an idea in it. So I pause for a second before moving forward. That's what periods tell me to do. What else? Some of the other things in here. Zoe? Yeah, with enthusiasm, right? So yeah, quotation means that the dad is talking, right? Mr. Michaels is speaking. And the exclamation point means he's saying it with enthusiasm or maybe saying it slightly louder than he normally would talk, right? So what else? There's some, there, there's at least one more bit of punctuation in here. Miss Amelia, Amelia? Are you Yep, we're capitalizing the names, right? To show that there's some significance there. And we're also capitalizing the beginning of sentences. Still a little bit more. Wesley? Yep, we got those. What do we do at a comma? What happens when we're reading, London? It's kind of like a period. Yeah, we do a brief pause, right? It gives us a moment to stop for a second. Like, for example, but instead, Mr. Michael said the bad word. Okay, so we're supposed to pause for a second and say, oh wait, he's doing something that he normally would do, right? But instead, so that's giving us a moment to just pause for a second before moving forward. So when you're reading, you'll want to do that because the author has a reason for the comma there. There's a purpose behind it. Daniel, what else? Exactly. Yeah, and the common one of the common uh, examples of that that's supposed to be humorous is grandma. Like, let's eat grandma. So you can either say, let's eat grandma, 
Or we could say, let's eat grandma. So one is cannibalism, and one is talking to your grandma saying that we're going to eat now, OK? So that comma is pretty important, right? It depends on, you got two different meanings, two different sentences out of the same word, right? There you go. That could be one way you could train your mind, right? Just to get into that habit. And once you get into the habit, you won't have to do the counting. But yeah, that is a nice, clever idea. And maybe somebody else in here who struggles with that, maybe you would like to try that strategy out for yourself. Okay, London, after you, then we're going to move on. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so when you're reading through today, I want you to keep in mind punctuation. So you're gonna pay close attention to the punctuation that is used in the book you are reading. And then we'll go ahead and share at the end today what kind of punctuation you noticed in your books as you're reading through today, all right? So let me stop this video for a second and then I'm gonna talk about tasks.